an old, I am a comedian. My sister, who is older, she was a lawyer. My parents are very disappointed uh, that she didn't become a comedian. And uh, <laughs> Jamie, why couldn't you be a comedian like your brother Michael? That's what I always say. And uh, I went to Penn State University, uh, which you may not be familiar with Penn State. It is really one of the goodest uh, colleges in the state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing that song. I don't like the anniversary song, the birthday song, and I do not sing the uh, hokey pokey. I will not sing that either. Unless you put your whole self in. That is fantastic. Have you ever done that? that I love that. Uh, it's nice. It's just my... So, uh, cause, but you just gotta let loose. So, thank you for coming out. You sound like you're in a good mood and uh, you just gotta kinda let it go. I'm up here cursing and farting and there's, a, there's an elder here. How are you, madam? I'm sorry, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you for laughing, miss. You know, uh, are you two married? What, did you bring the chaperone still? What are you doing? Let her sleep, for God's sakes. Thank you for laughing. Look at all the ladies, hi. Look at all the lesbians, nice to see ya. I could tell you were, you're very tough looking. Do you douche with Gatorade? I hear they all do that, is that? I knew this one lesbian, she used a brick for a tampon, I swear to God, it was phenomenal. Oh, now you're gonna get quiet on me, please. Well, not, thank, this is the whole family here. Very nice to see you here. Nice to see you, ma'am. So, um, <laughs> I sold my car. Avis was pissed. Uh, I had never heard someone scream. I don't know what they were so unhappy about. It was a Hyundai, which is a shitty car. I don't know what, I should ask before I go any further, does anyone here have a Hyundai? I should ask. Does anyone here have a Hyundai? Do you have a Hyundai? No talking, I can hear you, okay? You're not watching Matlock at home. This is the live show. I will say, I know you don't wanna be, I'm pointing you out if you have a Hyundai. I will say the only good thing about the, do you have a Hyundai? Piece of shit, am I right? Oh, it's the gambler. No wonder you can't afford anything else, you cheap bitch. Oh my God, I'm sorry. We're gonna have a telethon for you. Listen, I will support you. The only good thing about the Hyundai... <laughs> is she coming for me? I don't want the lesbians. You get a Birkenstock to the head. Uh, not that I don't support the gays, because I am gay too. I am. Which is surprising to me, because I can't dress myself. I don't like Liza Minnelli. Uh, I gag on my toothbrush, frankly. And uh, it's the truth. It's horrible. In fact, the only time I ever had an issue with being gay was, I know all the women are thinking, fuck, he was hot, he was a Jew, and gosh. But um, the only time I had a, a, a problem with it was I did a USO tour. I was in Iraq. And if you think the guns are scary, why don't you try and be a gay guy and keep hearing the sergeant yelling, who's bringing up the rear? <laughs> there was only, um, the rear ma'am. And uh, so... Uh, they didn't want me to tell you you're going in the home. How are you? Nice to meet you. What is your name, miss? Joanne. Joanne, you're lovely. Are you single? Yes. Yes. So, you know, you're still in the happening. You're, just, you're still coming out and doing stuff. Would you ever date someone like me? Why not? Why not? I don't know. <laughs> you're out of the will. Um, there was only one gay guy that I knew of doing uh, the Iraq USO tour, and it was an MP, uh, military police. And I only figured out that he was gay because instead of using the siren and the Jeep, he just hang out the window going, mmm, and uh, kind of tipped me off. Uh, <laughs> and I did date girls. I dated girls for a while. I mean, I'm, I could still do it. Like, you're very hot. I mean, I still had the schematics. I mean, I know what to do. Like, I could take in the bathroom, and, but you just have to talk a little lower. That's the only thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because I dated someone for a really long, like four years or something like that. I was very romantic. I called her cookie, which is a sweet treat. She called me pumpkin, which is a fat orange vegetable. And for some reason, women think that every time you're in a relationship, you have to lose a part of yourself and say everything they say. She was Republican, I was independent. She think, thought I had to listen to everything George Bush said. And I'm like, listen, honey, I am a Jew. And the last time a Jew listened to a Bush, we were wandering around the desert for like 40 fucking years. Um, you should applaud, it's the best joke of the night. No, no, it's too late now, it's too late. What is your, what is your name? Donna, you're lovely. I can see right down your shirt. Let me ask you this. Come on! Where, 
where, where are you from? Your kids are here, where? Your kids are, oh, good. Call me daddy. Uh, I'm only serious. Uh, let me ask you this. Donna, was it? Yeah, where, where, where do you live, Donna? In Jersey. In Jersey, that's all right. And what do you do? Do you work? No, I'm retired. Great, sugar mama. Let me ask you this. What is your, more importantly, what is your sign? Virgo, I'm a feces. Uh, I'm about fed up with you people. Wait, don't hiss and boom me, all right? Because we'll bring the chick up with the teeth again, all right? Uh, listen, I know you think you're a small group and you don't have to make a lot of noise. I expect a lot from you people because last show I was working the two kids and a nun and a drunk with his fly open. He kept saying, hey, you want to see a duck? So just stay with me because any material I do up here, I try it up in my room, I laugh my ass off, seriously. So... I'm just trying to see if I can make the connection here, you know? I, even though I'm not, this isn't my sandbox usually, I'm very, I, I haven't been, been a very dry season, I don't mind telling you. I carry a picture of my hand in my wallet. But I will say this, I am, really, I scream out my own name, I'm everything, I'm fantastic. Donna, uh, so let me ask you this, would you ever date someone like me? Yes. Yes. I'm only kidding, I'm a top. Uh, and I'm not a spontaneous lover. Because like I said, I'm a Jew, and before anything happens, Donna, I circle the bed and get an estimate. So... <sighs> Man, the Catholics love that joke, don't they? You're laughing because you know you fucked us out of Christmas, am I right? Oh, please. Wait a minute, three wise men made a left and I'm stuck in a house with eight candles and no fucking toys. <laughs> not, not that I don't like Christmas, I love it. We just had nothing to do with that story. We uh, put the straw down and took the money and left. But, uh, but every year I go to Midnight Mass. My friends take me to Midnight Mass. Anyone go to that? Okay, why don't you just laugh at Jesus? Uh, <laughs> I have been, I go every year and I, they love that I show up and I, you know how I know they're very welcoming because every year I stand in line and your Monsignor gives me a cookie. Uh, it's very nice. I want to put a little brie on there. It's nice. So, uh, and of course you have the beautiful, the sign, you know, of course to the Jews that always meant the highways block, take the other road. Uh, 